What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing another Pilates burnout workout. If we've not met before, my name is Margaret. I'm 25, I live in Arizona. I love all things health and fitness. Today is workout, oh my gosh, I just worked it out in my head. Today is workout number eight of our December Vlogmas workout challenge just of our December workouts, workout number eight. Um, we're doing another 40 minute Pilates workout. It's gonna be burnout style. So lots of pulses, lots of holds. We're gonna be doing a little bit of standing work. So a little bit higher of a cardio element with these workouts. So if you're ready for that, if you're here because you love my workouts and you've got the calendar, you are my people and I'm so happy that you are here. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. No equipment needed, just your mat, you, a water bottle, and I'll walk you through the rest. Also, I have to say before we even start this workout, um, can we just, this cheetah outfit? And I know you guys have probably seen it in my videos before, but uh, uh, do you love it? I love it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So let me turn on my clock. All right, so go ahead and come to your mat. We're gonna start with a little bit of breathing. Um, just get everything warmed up, get a little bit comfortable, like we always do. Come to a seated position, hands come to the knees. You're just gonna inhale, pull the shoulders up towards the ears. Big exhale, roll them down and back. Two more here. I want you to do some neck rolls. We're gonna roll over to the left. So bring your right shoulder towards your right ear. Circle down and around. We'll do two more circles here. Then switch over to the other side, bringing left ear, left shoulder. Circle down and around. Hopefully that feels good. I know for me, my neck is always weirdly tight. One more here. Okay, I want you to look down towards your chest. Look up towards the ceiling. Do that two more times down towards your chest. Up towards the ceiling. Okay, we're gonna come into a tabletop position, do a little bit of cat cowing before we really get going. Hands come down to your mat, knees come down, hips over knees, shoulders over wrists. On your inhale, we're going to curve down through the spine, look up towards the ceiling for your cow. Big exhale, press down through the palms of the hands, look down towards the navel for your cat. Inhale, cow, big exhale, cat. Two more here, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more. And we're gonna get right into it. Starting off with a knee to elbow crunch. So we're gonna start by extending the left arm out. Right leg is gonna shoot behind you. Big exhale, you're gonna pull knee in towards your elbow. Inhale, let it go. So I'm noticing I'm starting to shift back a little bit. So if your shoulder is coming really behind your elbow, I want you to reset in your tabletop. So I'm gonna take a second to reset. Wrist should be right underneath that shoulder. What did I say? Elbow. 15 seconds left here. You're gonna press back through both your arm and your leg. We're just gonna pulse one inch up and one inch down. So get ready to hold. And we'll pulse in five, four, three, two, and one, press it out, just pulse one inch up, one inch down. One inch up, one inch down. Steady, even breath here throughout this entire movement. So just little micro movements. Think one inch up, pause, one inch down, pause. 15 seconds left here. You'll bring that left hand down to your mat. We'll keep the right leg extended. We're gonna do a hamstring curl in five, four, three, two and one. Left hand comes down, keep the right leg up. You're gonna flex your foot. 
just bend in through your knee, press it back out. Keep that foot flexed this whole time. Beautiful. So your right leg is gonna stay up at hip height. We wanna have even weight through all three points of contact with your mat here. So you don't wanna be starting to dump into the left side. Even weight in that tabletop. Nice flat back, neutral spine. 15 seconds left here. You're gonna bend in through the right knee. We're just gonna pulse. In five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it in, just pulse, pulse. Think of this as a micro hamstring curl. Really tiny. 15 seconds left here. We're gonna reset, left forearm is gonna come down to the ground. In five, four, three, two, and one. You can bring that right leg down. We're gonna set up so that the left forearm comes down and we're gonna start working in that right leg. So left forearm down, right hand is just gonna be on the mat. We're gonna lift the right leg up at hip height. Exhale, pull the knee in towards the elbow. Inhale, lengthen out. So just getting a little bit of work into your obliques, still working through those hips to stabilize. And if you want a little bit of a balance challenge, extend that right arm up without letting your hips open all the way up. So that's the big challenge. I'm gonna stay down on my wrist and I'm actually gonna make a fist with my hand because my wrist is starting to feel a little bit tight. 15 seconds here, you're gonna bend the right knee in, we'll just pulse. In five, four, three, two, and one, bend it in, just pulse, pulse. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen back out, take a second to reset. So I'm gonna come up, roll out the wrists. We're gonna come back down to the left forearm, right hand. On your left leg, your hip is stacked right over your knee. We bring that right leg up and we're gonna sweep forward, kick it back. So you can stop when your foot's right in line with your hip. So if you start to come forward too much, your hips are gonna start to collapse back. That's not really doing a whole lot for you. Take it nice and slow, keep everything controlled. Right leg stays up at hip height. And in 15 seconds, we're gonna add in with a little lift at the back. So we'll sweep forward, kick back, lift up, sweep in five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna take a second to reset, but if you're ready to go right into it, we sweep forward, you'll sweep back, lift, lower, sweep forward, back, lift, lower, beautiful. If at any time you need to take a second to reset or you need to take a second to breathe, take a second, that's okay. Whenever we're here, the hips tend to burn out kind of quickly. So that's okay. If that's you, if you're burning out, totally fine. If you're breezing through this, more power to you. Ooh, okay, 15 seconds left here. We're gonna hold the leg at the back. We're just gonna lift lower, lift lower. In five, four, three, two, and one. Just lift lower. Really small, slow, controlled movement. Just give it up. I think I've had enough. 
15 seconds here. We're gonna come down into a forearm plank. Almost there. Just five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that right knee down. And we're just gonna come, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, my glutes. Okay, we're just gonna come into a forearm plank. Both forearms come down to that mat, shoulders over the elbows. Step it back. Once you're set up in that plank, we're gonna do some hip dips. So you'll point one hip down towards your mat, bring it back up through center, dip the other hip down. Really small movement here. A lot of the times what people like to do is kind of drop their entire body. That's not what we're doing. Really tiny, tiny movement. Imagine you're rolling your hips over a little ball. 15 seconds left here, then we're gonna set up with this forearm work on the other side. Just five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Take a second to reset. Maybe roll out those wrists. Good time for a drink of water. And we're gonna do all of that work that we just did, but now in reverse. So we'll start with our forearm work. We're gonna do kind of the same, the same, uh, I can't think of the word. <laughs> we'll do the movements in the same order, but we're gonna start forearm, come up and do the, okay, uh, you'll get it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna turn to the side so y'all can see me. Right forearm is gonna come down this time. Hip stays over the right knee and then left hand comes down. We're just gonna start with bringing our knee to the elbow. So knee to elbow, exhale, pull in, inhale, extend out. So you feel that little squeeze through the side of your body. We wanna make sure we're not dumping in to the right side. So even though we're down on that right forearm, you don't wanna be pushing all your weight into your elbow or into your shoulder. 15 seconds here. We'll pull the left knee in and we'll just pulse. Okay. In five, four, three, two, and one. Pull that knee in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it back and we'll go into that sweep. So I'm gonna reset. I kind of see myself in the camera. I'm looking a little bit weird. Okay, we're gonna go into our sweep. Inhale, sweep forward. Exhale, sweep back. Trying your best to keep your right hip right over your knee, keeping your left leg up at hip height. <sighs> Steady, even breath here. So if at any time you feel you need to stop and take a second to reset, if your glutes are burning out, you might need to stop. <laughs> Reset, figure out where your form is kind of collapsing, and then keep moving. 15 here, and then we'll add in that lift and lower as we sweep back. Almost there. Just five, four, three, two, and one. So we sweep forward, you'll sweep back, lift, lower. Maintain that steady, steady breath, okay? That means you need to slow it down a couple of seconds, that's okay. 15 here, we'll hold at the back and we'll pulse, almost there. Just five, four, three, two, and one, just pulse. Ooh. 
<laughs> my right side is starting to burn up just a little bit. <sighs> 15 seconds here. We'll bring everything down. We'll reset into that tabletop. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. <sighs> Shake it out. Shake it out. Okay, we're coming back into that tabletop. We're gonna go into our hamstring curl to start. So hands come down, knees come back, hips over the knees, shoulders over the wrist. We're working in that left leg. So lift the left leg up at hip height, flex the foot, bend through the knee to pull your heel in toward your butt. Take it nice and slow. Again, if you need to take a second to reset, reset. I'm feeling a lot of work into my right hip because your right hip is trying to help you to stabilize. It's helping you to maintain a really strong tabletop position. So it's okay if you're starting to burn out there, just keep moving through. 15 seconds, you'll bend the knee in. We're gonna pulse in and in towards that booty. In five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it in, just pulse, pulse. One inch in, one inch out. That's all you have to think here. 15 seconds, we'll lower down. We'll go into our knee to elbow crunch. Almost there. Just five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, reset. Okay, left leg's going back. Right arm is going out in front of you. Exhale, you'll pull your knee in towards your elbow. Inhale, extend, let it go. Y'all, my right leg is like going crazy. If you look up at the video, you can see my right leg is shaking like crazy. So again, shoulder stays stacked over the wrist, and if you notice that you're starting to come away from that, if your form is starting to get compromised, I need you to pull it in and reset, okay? 15 seconds here, you're gonna hold your arm and your leg out, we'll just do those little pulses. Ooh, we're almost there, okay, we're almost there, we can do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Press everything out, one inch up, one inch down. Fifteen here. We'll pull everything in. Take a little child's pose. In five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Child's pose. Sit your hips back to your heels. Arms go long in front of you. Okay. Once you're ready, we're gonna come out of this child's pose. We're just gonna do some push-ups on the knees. So you'll stay on your knees. <laughs> oh man, okay, stay on the knees. Hands are gonna come down to the mat and you're just gonna press your hips forward a little bit. We're just gonna do a nice quick push-up. Okay, so inhale, you bend through the elbows, lower your chest down, exhale, press up. And hands are kind of wide. You can walk your hands out a little bit wider. What I want you to think about is just bringing your elbows down and back. For the longest time with push-ups, I would try and bring my elbows out to the sides and make a goalpost position with my arms. That wasn't really working. <laughs> and if you want to pop up onto your toes, take your push-ups from there, you are more than welcome to do so. If you need to take a second to rest in between push-ups, just hold in that modified plank. 15 seconds here, and we're gonna do something a little bit fun. We'll reset in five, 
four, three, two, one. Okay. What we're gonna do here, I think it's fun, but you might not. <laughs> we're gonna do a single leg, a single leg push up with a little tricep action in the arms. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. We're not gonna be here for super long, so don't freak out by the fact that I said push up, okay? So knee goes a little bit behind the hip. You're gonna extend the left leg back, bend through the elbows to lower down. Elbows are gonna act like they're gonna skim the sides of your body. We'll just do five total here. So that was two, three, four, five. Switch it out, shake out the wrists if you need to. We have to do a little bit of upper body work. Really in these Pilates workouts, we focus a lot on the core, a lot on the low body. So once you're ready, come back down. We'll switch it out, left knee down, right leg goes back. Okay, just doing five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Take a little stretch, little child's pose, hips back to the heels, roll those shoulders back. And then roll the shoulders forward. Okay. We're gonna set up for a little bit of standing work here. So I'm gonna adjust to you guys so you can see me, but get ready to stand. Okay, so we're standing everything up. We're gonna start off here with a narrow squat to a wide squat. So we're just gonna alternate. Feet are gonna be a little bit closer than hips distance apart. We're gonna sit low, stand it up, step out to the right, stand up. Lower down into that narrow squat and then step it out to the left. So when we do that narrow squat, it helps us to work a little bit through the outer thighs and through the outer glutes. Kind of our normal squat, we get that normal work through the back of the leg, through the inner thigh as well. As you lower down, I want you to think about sitting down and back into a chair. So hips pressed down and back. This is where we get the little cardio element going. Just breathe. 15 seconds here. We're gonna meet in that narrow squat. I know you guys know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna pulse. Coming into that narrow squat in three, two, and one. Sit down and back. We're moving one inch up, one inch down. So I like to bring my hands right in front of my chest. And this little tiny movement through the legs. Burning out those leggies. 15 seconds, we'll hug everything in. We're gonna step out to the right and pulse. In five, four, three, two, and one. Step out to the right, nice wide stance, sit it down, pulse. Halfway there. We'll stand everything up. We'll shake out those legs. We're gonna do a little curtsy lunge combo. Coming up in five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it up, shake out those legs. Let me just make sure I know what we're doing. Okay, so we're gonna do a curtsy lunge combo. All that is, so we're gonna start with the right foot down. Whew. You're gonna curtsy lunge, stepping the left leg back. We'll come up, hands come behind the head, and you're gonna do a knee to elbow crunch. So it requires a whole lot of control. We're finding stability in the core. You're using your hips to stabilize. We're doing combination movements for our standing work today. So I'm making you think a little bit to breathe. Perfect. As you lower down, it's like you're stepping your foot back at a 45 degree angle, okay? 
and then just a little bend into your side body so you can kind of touch your knee and your elbow. Fifteen seconds left here. We're gonna hold low in this curtsy lunge. We're gonna pulse, just like we did last week. Hold it low in five, four, three, two, whoop, <laughs> and one. Let me reset so I can find my good curtsy lunge. Hands can stay behind the head. We're gonna pulse one. <laughs> ah, we're gonna pulse one inch up and one inch down. Really small, slow and controlled. Hands could be on the hip. I like my hands on my hips, but because that helps me to make sure my hips are pointed forward. 15 seconds and we'll stand up. We're gonna do a little wide plie squat. You know I love it. In five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Stand it up, come through center. Walk your feet out a little bit wider than hips distance. Ooh, toes out, heels in. Whoop. <laughs> We're just gonna go right into it. So make sure you have good balance, unlike me. As we do these wide plie squats, I want you to focus on pressing down through the heels every time you stand up. Imagine you're squatting with a brick wall or a pane of glass right behind you. So shoulders and hips would make contact. Nice flat back, think neutral spine, tuck the hips a little bit under. Press down through those heels. And then once you're down low in that squat, think about pressing your knees back so your knees don't wanna pull in, oh that hurts, towards the mat or towards themselves. You want them to press back. So open those knees up nice and wide. 15 seconds here. We're gonna hold low in this squat. In five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it nice and low. Pulse the hips one inch up, one inch down. Really small, slow and controlled. 15 seconds here, we're gonna stand up. We're gonna do a reverse lunge to warrior three combo. In five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it up, shake out those legs. Okay, we're gonna keep the right foot forward. I'm just gonna turn so you guys can see me. Right foot stays forward, and we are going to step the left foot back, come up, Hinge forward from the hips to a warrior three. Okay? That's all we're gonna do. So we step it back, come up. As you push the left leg back, you can push the arms out in front of you. Come back up to stand, lower down into that lunge. So I'm gonna keep my arms overhead. It's a little bit of a balance challenge that way. And if you wanna keep your hands on your hips, that works just as well. Just make sure those hips stay nice and square. So as we hinge forward to take our warrior three, you don't wanna to start to open up your hips towards the wall or to whatever's next to you. Hips stay square as they hinge forward to the ground. Fifteen seconds here. We're gonna hold in our warrior three. We're gonna pulse through that left leg. Holding in five, four, three, two, and one. So bring it up. Whoop! Find that warrior three. Flex the foot. Pulse one inch up, one inch down. Arms can come out overhead, 15 seconds here. We're gonna lower down, we'll switch right over to the other side. Five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. Woo! 
Shake out those legs, step it out. Okay, we're gonna switch right over to the other side. I'll stay facing this way because you guys can still see it. So left foot stays forward this time. We're gonna step the right foot back, catch your breath. <laughs> that cue's really for me, catch your breath, left foot forward, right foot steps back into that lunge. We'll hinge forward as we kick the right leg back. Keep forgetting how long my body is here. And thankfully, I have a wall right next to me, so if I start to lose my balance, that wall is right there. If you have a wall next to you, feel free to use that as well. And you're gonna notice right away that this side just feels a little bit different. That's okay, I don't want that to discourage you from doing this exercise. It's always okay wow, if things feel different from side to side. Set it once, I'll set it, I'll say it again. We as humans are lopsided. So, or not lop, I mean, you know, whatever. We're lopsided. We do things on one side that we don't do on the other, like carrying a purse, carrying a backpack, carrying a child. So things are always gonna be different. 15 seconds here, we'll hold up in that warrior three and we'll just pulse that right leg. You guys are doing really well. Hold up in five, four, three, two, and one. Press back in that warrior three. Flex the foot, just pulse. I'm holding onto the wall, you can too. Pulse, pulse. Nice flat back if you can. Fifteen seconds here. We're gonna step it down. We'll go back into that wide plie. Keep breathing for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Turn to face me. We're going back into that wide plie. Feet walk out a little bit wider than hips distance. Toes out, heels in. Sink it low right away. Your body goes straight up and down. If you wanna pick up the pace here in your second set, feel free to do so. We have 15 more seconds left here. You're gonna hold low in this squat. Hands come behind the head. We're gonna do some oblique crunches in five, four, Three, two, and one. Bring it nice and low in that squat. Hands come behind the head. We're gonna bend over into the right for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it up. <sighs> Shake out those legs. Okay, we have that curtsy lunge to do on the other side now. So remember, <laughs> from the beginning of this standing series, we're doing that curtsy lunge to knee to elbow crunch on the side. So we'll keep the left foot on the ground. I'll go in a spot that you guys can see me. Left foot on the ground, we're gonna step the right foot back at a 45 degree angle. Hands can hang out behind the head, they can come to the hips. Whenever you feel ready, you feel comfortable, let's go ahead and get into it. This side for me is a little bit more challenging because I honestly just don't have the dexterity in my right toes to be able to grip on. So I'm gonna be taking it a little bit slower, but if you feel comfortable, whoo, and you feel stable, you can always pick up that pace a little bit. So for me, I kind of have to take it slow. And if you want to take it slow, take it slow. That's okay. As we come up out of the lunge, you press down through the left heel, you squeeze the side body together to bring the knee up to the elbow. Perfect. 
15 seconds here, you're gonna hold low in that lunge. You know what we're doing, we're pulsing. In five, four, three, two, and one. So let me reset so I can find that good, good lunge. Step it back, just pulse one inch up. Try and press down through the left heel, through the big toe mound, through the outer foot as well. 15 seconds here, we'll stand all the way up. We'll take a big shake out. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand everything up, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna be in our final pushes here. I'm gonna give you guys kind of a big cool down today, but we're not there yet. So to wrap everything up today, what we're gonna do is a little bit of an inchworm combo. So I want you to walk all the way to the back of your mat. From here, you're gonna do, you're gonna fold forward towards the toes, walk your hands out so that you come into a plank. From here, we're gonna do a cross body mountain climber. So right knee, left knee, and then we're gonna do an oblique mountain climber. So same knee, same elbow, right knee, left knee. Then we're gonna do a push up. Walk those hands back and we're gonna stand up so we come into a chair pose. You're gonna squat one, two, stand all the way up, do it again. Walk the hands out, right knee, left elbow, left knee, right elbow, right knee, right elbow, left knee, left elbow, push up, walk the hands back, stand up so you come into a chair pose. Sit up, squat down, sit up, squat down. Stand it all the way up, bend forward, inchworm. And then once you're there, just pick up that pace. You got it. If the push up is not for you, you wanna modify, bring your knees down to the mat. Take your push up from there. You wanna walk your feet out a little bit wider. Go for it. We're gonna do 30 more seconds here and then you get that big cool down, okay? You're almost there. Stay with me, you guys. Fifteen seconds, and we'll take that big stretch. Almost there. Stay with me. All right. Walk it back. Just take a big forward fold. Feet are a little bit maybe a little bit wider than hips distance. That feels good. We're just gonna hang here, maybe grab onto the elbows, take a little bend in those knees. Shift your upper body from side to side. Just sway a little bit. That was a sweaty one, you guys. Okay, we're gonna come all the way up. Start to stretch out through that low body. Come to the center of your mat. And I'm gonna do a little knee hug with the right knee. So, whoa! Grab onto that right knee. You can flex the foot, roll the ankle. Bring it down, other side. Grab onto that left knee, roll the ankle. Left knee comes down. Walk your feet a little bit wider than hips distance. We're just gonna do a side bend. So inhale, reach up with the left arm. Press the left hip out, leaning over to the right side. Big stretch to the left side of your body. Bring it down, we'll switch it over. Right arm goes up. Lean over towards the left, big stretch in the right side of your body. We 
We're gonna go down into a wide plie to stretch out, so feet wider than hips distance, toes out, heels in. You're just gonna sink it nice and low. Hands can come to the inner thighs. And we'll just stand it right back up. Then I want you to turn your feet in. Feet are still pretty wide. We're gonna take a deep bend into the right knee. Reach down for your mat. Hands can come inside of the foot. You can turn that right toe out just a little bit. Should feel a stretch in the right inner thigh. Walk your hands through center. Big forward fold. And then we'll walk our hands over to the left. So I walked my, or walked my foot out just a little bit more. Turn the toes out, big stretch in the inner thigh. Come up, walk back through center, big forward fold. Okay, slowly, slowly, slowly. I want you to bring your hands to your hips, slowly come up to standing. The last thing that lifts is your head. So we don't wanna get a big rush of blood to the head as we stand up, take it really slow. We're gonna do three big circles through the shoulders back. Two, three, three big circles forward. One, two, three, perfect. You guys did it. That was your workout for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And if you're watching this workout all the way through, I want you to comment down below with your favorite zoo animal. So contrary to my legging and sports bra choice. My favorite zoo animal is not a cheetah. It's actually probably a koala or a panda, but please comment down below. Tell me what your favorite zoo animal is. I would love to know. And remember, you're awesome. You can do anything that you put your mind to. I'll see you guys in our next video. You guys did awesome.